What's up guys? Welcome to another vlog. I know it's been a little while uh, since the last time that we hit an event with the Z. I still have not figured out what is wrong with the steering. But uh, honestly, it's just because I've been just taking a break. But anyways, I will get to that. Uh, I kind of want to fix that today. But today, I am actually working on the CRV. So I'm finally working on this thing. Uh, not sure if I actually show the CRV in another video, but this is a 2005 four wheel drive Honda CRV. So when I got it, it actually had a door that was completely smashed in and the fender was all fucked up. So I ended up going to a junkyard and I picked up a door and I picked up a brand new fender. So. I got to fix a couple of little things like the door is not opening with the fob and that's because there's this piece that kind of broke inside uh, which I have the other door in there uh, that I have to take that thing off of that one and put it on this one. But it is pretty exciting though because I am actually lifting this thing. So we went ahead and we purchased all the parts from Aerogenics. They uh, supply a lot of off-road stuff for Honda CRVs. Either you have a Gen 1 or a Gen 2. And uh, yeah, so this is a two inch lift. I believe is a mm, uh, 1.5 in the front and one in the rear. So it evens out to two, uh, two inches. And then I got some trailing arms for it. I'm putting all the stuff on so I can lift the CRV without having any issues because I hear that some people have issues with axles and rubbing and all that stuff. So I just went ahead and bought everything that I needed from Aerogenics to make sure that, you know, as soon as I lift it and I throw the tires on and the wheels, uh, nothing is gonna rub or, or having issues with axles or vibrations and stuff like that. You know, I'm, I'm knowing my ass, knowing my luck, Something always happens, but I'm pretty, uh, I have a lot of faith right now with this one. It's not a drift car. Uh, you know, it's just my daily driver right now. And once I lift it, you know, I'm still gonna daily drive it. Even though I wish I had a truck, uh, you know, to tow the drift car, but you know, things will come, you know, when they come. So we'll see. So I am uh, taking uh, the motor mount, the tranny mount right here, and I'm gonna add the spacer on here and then I have to go on the other side and put the spacers on there and then we have to come down here and then take four bolts, two in the front, two in the back side of the motor and add the spacer on there. I'm gonna show you, I already have the wheels and I got the tires. These. All right, guys. So I went ahead and uh, took out the air uh, air filter out, and there's three bolts in here. Uh, I move this one out the way. You can see that's one, and then the nut that goes on this one, and then there's one back here. It's kind of hidden. I have the camera on the tripod, so you can't see it. But uh, Aerogenics actually supplies you with the socket, the deep socket that you can take these out. Here's the motor mount, uh, take it out, but I really can't stress this enough. When you do this, make sure you're supporting uh, your motor with your jack. And I put some wood under there so it wouldn't mess up the oil pan. And I put two jacks under there actually to you know, have it leveled. So I'm supporting the tranny and the oil pan on the left side. So now that we got these out, so spacer goes in here, and then another one on the other bolt. 
then put this back. All right, guys, it is colder than a motherfucker. So, I was able to get the stuff off. Uh, it's kind of hard to film and, and work at the same time. So, I'm gonna show you. So, you take, uh, you loosen both sides, right? And then you take the washer off and then you lower your motor pretty much with the jack since you're supporting it already. And then you, you throw in the spacers, as you guys can see the spacer right there. There's one, there's two, and there is three. So, once you get done on one side, you immediately hop on the passenger side. You can do either or. You can start here and then go over there. But it worked better for me to actually uh, loosen everything and then drop the motor a little bit so I can, you know, slip in the spacer and then uh, provide it nuts by Aerogenics. So once I did that, uh, the motor obviously is lower. And then I moved on to the subframe, uh, which is just four bolts. There's one here, one over there, one in that corner, and one in that corner. So what I would suggest for you to do is do the fronts first and then the rears but it's better for you to loosen all of them try to get try to get the the ones in the back side of the motor loose enough that you can bring this down and then as you guys can see I put the spacer in there already with the provided uh, bolt on all four so all that is done and right now I'm gonna install the actual spacers that go on the on the strut so for the front I believe is these so I'm gonna take these and as you guys can see I already have some of it off just got to get the right shape which looks like this and there you go yeah I mean everything's been very very simple honestly uh, that's why I'm not going in depth with a video on how to do it and everything because it's really easy but I know that there's a lot of people that don't know and that's why I'm out here you know trying to show you guys so um, so yeah I'm gonna put this on and then I'm gonna go to the other side and get it done because after this I have to move to the rear side and then we're gonna see how high it came up all right guys, so we ended up trying to finish everything. I didn't get to record anything because it started to rain and then I found out that the next day it was gonna be pouring. So we just tried to get everything done and we kind of did. We got the lift kit installed. As you guys can see, this is the rear. Uh, I haven't tied every, anything up yet, like obviously just the, the ends, but the alignment is fucked right now. I have to go get an alignment as soon as I'm done. But right now I'm actually installing the lower control arms by Aerogenics. Uh, and I love the fact that they supply the socket to remove these uh, 10 point uh, bolts. So as soon as I'm done with this, I'm gonna go through everything that I have done and then uh, we'll get an alignment uh, tomorrow morning. By the way, this is the spacers for the rear. Uh, it'll give you a little bit more clearance if you try to go with uh, bigger tires. Uh, at least that's what I read. So uh, these were pretty easy to install. You just take one off, put the spacer in, put the bolt through, and then you do the other one. Uh, you should loosen them both when you're doing that, by the way. Uh, honestly, all this was pretty easy to do it wasn't as 
hard as I thought it would be. I had never done this before. All right guys, so we're getting ready to wrap the car. A uh, Couple of things that I've done on the car. Uh, I got the alignment done on all four and there was a dent in here and I tried to get it out as much as I could. Uh, I also got some, some stuff coming for the front end. Actually, it already started. Um, that's honestly, I, I feel like that's like one of the one of the best things about the car because it's custom made. Um, I am honestly really happy with the right side of the car. Not so happy with the left side, but obviously all that is going to change right now when we wrap the car. And uh, I'm going to show you guys what color I went with. Um, <laughs> We're gonna take care of that, and then uh, I also got wheels for the car, so I probably won't rec record uh, the whole wrapping job because I barely have a little bit of memory. But you know, it, it'll be good because you guys see how the car is right now, and then once it's wrapped, you're gonna get to see it right away. So I wish I had a little time left, but I can't. I didn't bring my GoPro, but hopefully we can knock off the car today. Cody says that we are, uh, but you know, first things first, I, I think we have to clean it up and uh, take all the badges off. As you can see right here, there's a bunch of moss and you know, we gotta clean all this up and then we can start. This uh, toothbrush on that would work. Yeah, there you go. What's up guys, so I'm gonna take over this vlog a little bit here just to show you guys the progress that me and Javi has made. Um, but Javi's been killing it on this thing. He's just been busting ass and going to town on it. So for the wrap, we um, we actually took our time on it and we pulled all these window seals right here for all the weather stripping and then took off the interior uh, window trim, like the little strip that the glass actually sits in. We pulled all that out, got all the door panels off and got you know everything out of the way so that the wrap goes under nice and the uh, you know nice underneath all the moldings and stuff so uh, with that being said uh, we already got the roof all done the roof came out really good and then we made sure to tuck it under you know all these moldings right here that way there's no pull-ups or anything so uh, hood fenders and two front doors are done now we got to do the a pillars the rear doors and then the rear quarters and the back hatch so we'll probably finish that up in, in three to four hours or so and uh, but yeah, either way, it's coming out really good. So Javi's very excited. I'm excited to see this thing come together because I've literally seen this thing since, you know, since he's got it. So um, this thing's gonna come out really nice and we're both super stoked. All right guys, so it's been a while since we wrapped the car. The car has been wrapped for, I wanna say about three weeks. Uh, and a lot more has been going on with the car. Like we got new wheels, new tires, uh, a bunch of little accessories like new headlights, uh, a basket, uh, some Nerf bars. You know what? I'll just let you guys see the car and then I'll just go through everything. I uh, finished the wrap, thanks to Cody for helping me out. It's raining right now, so honestly, can't really show it that good because it has like watermarks all over and dirt. But it came out pretty good. Um, we went ahead and put the wheels on. I don't remember exactly what the what the size is, but I'll put it in the in the in the link below. But same size all around I had to put some spacers on here uh, because right here you see it wouldn't clear the caliper but with the spacer it clears it pretty good uh, and it doesn't stick out that much just a little tiny bit and then we have the custom bull bar made from uh, one of my friends Gabe um, I'll put a link 
for his Instagram on the description below if you want to get something like this made. Also went ahead and got some eBay fog lights and I wanted to uh, to install the little grill here. I had to make some cuts uh, just because you know the wheels are chrome and then with a chrome grill I mean it kind of goes with it. Also got some Nerf bars. I really don't need them. I'm not that high but I also ended up Plasti dipping the door jams because uh, I didn't want you know the color to come out. Yes, I could have wrapped it, but I feel like if I wrapped it, it would have been a lot harder to try to wrap around this. And honestly, I ran out of material, so I couldn't do it. But it didn't come out so bad. The car's a little dirty. I got to clean it up. But we didn't get four wheels. We got five. And we got this one mounted in the back uh, with no issues. The only problem that I have is that the car sags a little bit from the rear. And obviously, because it has that big tire in the back, the only thing that I will have to do is I will have to upgrade the, the springs. Uh, so we get rid of that sag. It rubs a little bit when you go over bumps. Nothing too bad. I really felt like these wheels were not going to fit, but that's the reason why we got uh, those arms right there because it makes the wheel come out. So if, if you put this on and you didn't upgrade that, uh, this wheel would have been hitting this. It would be really, really close. So as you can see, it's kind of close already, but it's pretty even on both sides now. Uh, Aerogenics decals right here kind of had the idea from the EK uh, Civics and we got a basket on it some rain visors as you guys can see and uh, obviously the new headlights you know I apologize to you guys because I didn't I didn't have you guys like step by step on you know all the little things that I was adding to it but you know we're here so I appreciate you guys watching uh, I will have another video and explain some stuff with the Z because I got a lot of things going on for the Z right now so stay tuned for the next video and I'll catch you on the next one bye